beautiful morning so far. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Morning. Beautiful. Wednesday morning. Gratitude. Another beautiful day in the making. But at the same time, my heart also goes out to everyone that was actually involved in a shooting here yesterday, here in Georgia. So there was one in Woodstock and another one downtown. So it's just one of those days. But I was, I was just thinking that wow, this time yesterday, those people were here just like you and I. And regardless of the situation or what might have transpired, my heart still goes out to them because they are just like me. <laughs> uh, so how things happen, we don't even know. And just an, uh, an amazing, amazing, amazing journey is this life. How um, one minute we're here and the next. And it also made me just come to that realization or that whole sitting still is very important. The hardest part of my day is when I have to sit still for an hour because um, the more you sit, uh, all the tightness in your back begins to come out. But the, the pain that you receive in the beginning of it, so that's sort of the most hardest part of my day. And <laughs> as time goes on, you can actually feel the change. So I do sit for like about two hours every day. You know, sometimes it's usually an hour where I will sit there and meditate. Sometimes it's two, so like I would do two or one in the morning after the yoga, then another one hour in the evening. You know, just make sure I get it in regardless. So, and um, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's almost like an all day thing, you know, like the yoga, the stretching, and um, really amazing what the body can actually do. And once you begin to have that your own practice to where you just sit, and making effort is the whole thing about meditation in my opinion making effort trying to go straight into the zone like everyone always talk about or when you listen to certain things on radio and all that or your mp3 sometimes it's just not how you really get a claim into it by yourself so because I also look at meditation as a kiss of life because uh, nobody can tell you how to kiss someone that you have passion for, somebody that you love, nobody, or even your loved ones from your mom to your boyfriend to your husband. There's just a certain way that you give them that kiss that requires a certain attention. And once you can tap into that attention, because when you kiss someone on this, uh, kiss somebody on their forehead with a soft touch, they can really tell is genuine from the heart. So, and that's how that, that's how meditation is actually is, because it's got to be something that you do from the heart, and then uh, you also have to really mean it. You can't be try stop trying to be an expert and that's just the same thing that goes with running with a lot of things that we do in life because um, I truly believe in just trying it right now everything that I do I just try and once you try to do something in your heart or when you're sitting on the floor or whatever you're sitting it doesn't matter what comes into your mind because you have the right for those things to come into your mind the whole ideology of it is <laughs> is to be able to sit is to make that time that whole ideology of trying to be perfect 
thank you. <laughs> that whole ideology of trying to be perfect is just absolutely not necessary because I think human beings, we are far beyond perfect. Uh, the meaning of perfect to us as a being, because when you look at the way everything in our body works, the cell, everything, a name for it is almost just absolutely impossible because there's just some things that the body do that we don't even know it does. So quieting the mind. I mean, like, it's really funny lately how I can sort of get to that stage that I could put myself on, could be in an island on the beach, just sit down there and just truly block everything out of my mouth, out of my mind and let it just go. And I think sometimes it's harder, but the guidance too, and that's why I always suggest a writing form. I always suggest that if you are left-handed, write with your right hand. And if you are right-handed, write something powerful to yourself with your left hand, like both ways. And you'd be really surprised because at that moment, you are forced to concentrate whether you like it or not. This type of things, I always say, man, I wish I'd learned years ago. But as time progresses and we want to program my brain, so I'm beginning to do stuff like that, even when I'm lifting my feet, like I'm reprogramming my brain. When I'm moving, it's like I'm just, the whole thing is to feel that relaxation every time I step my foot on the floor. And when you are always on a rapid speed, you never felt something like that at all. You don't even notice it, but it's actually there. <laughs> so today, <laughs> the sort of thing that just comes into my head because I always have something, something different coming to my head every morning. Like I'm just <laughs> out here, something different will just show up, and I begin to talk about it. And uh, it's really funny. Like I dabbled along with a lot of different spiritual books, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess sometimes I'm at that stage also where I just want to know how things are made. I like morals that is in a lot of the spiritual texts, but when it's repeated repetitionally and keep on talking about it, but just in a different verbalization, it almost becomes a control mechanism. And that's why to people who like to think a lot, they question some of their faith because when you truly read the Woody's books most of them they it's almost always about things repetition and it just do and sometimes as human beings as a collective consciousness individual we want to know how certain things just move we I think our curiosity about life is so immense that regardless of what we do sometimes, it's all based on curiosity. Yeah, and that's why I like the form of the whole Buddhist ideology about energy, because everything is, is energy, because uh, it doesn't matter what it is that we're trying to do, you have to put some, create, some form of creativity into it for, <laughs> for it to come to life. And it's just really funny how that is. Some form of creativity, some form of concentration, meditation, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is that we want to do, we have to put those form inside of it. So when people actually say, yo, I don't know how to meditate, I don't know how to do this, you meditate every single day, you just don't realize it. <laughs> because it doesn't matter what it is. You have to, you know, they will say focus. <laughs> uh, they will say multitasking. Because you have to use that brain whether we like it or not. So I don't think it's possible as a being like myself, I would say, is for me to do something without being, without tapping into my creative side. No matter how small that thing is, I have to tap into my creative side. And I think that's what makes it so unique for us. <laughs> as a human being <laughs> yeah. and that's why these days I begin to even 
for many years now, get my mind <clears throat> out of the whole separation thing. I, uh, I think each time we teach each other to separate from this, separate from that, it is a form of control. Doesn't matter what it is, because every time you tell someone not to do this, not to, because there's of course there's certain things in life you know that you should not do, based on common sense. But when it comes to being around different individuals, regardless of their situation, that choice has to be left for one to realize. So there's just certain things. Yeah, that's why sometimes all this revolutionary stuff I, I i feel like it's still a form of religion and it's still a form of control and we're very good at it so we separate one another we fight we use all type of excuses what it is most of the people that are involved in that i almost say i, I feel re my heart goes out to them because it's based on a delusional mechanism for somebody to just come and say yes we're gonna take over this we don't want to talk to this set of people we don't want to do this absolutely absolutely ridiculous <laughs> so yes <laughs> my mouth is rumbling this morning on this beautiful Wednesday morning and of course I'm just taking it easy I've got a new job now <laughs> And of course it's volunteering. So I'm gonna be volunteering somewhere today. Because I've always wanted to do that just to give service. So I don't like doing the volunteer work just based on the holidays. I think volunteer work should be once a week somewhere of your choice. And uh, it just brings a smile. I can't wait to actually get there today and meet people that think alike. So today, wherever you are, Woo! Look at that. <laughs> I'm just strolling. Whatever you are. If you are thinking of going out, it is, that, especially here in Georgia, like here, whatever parts of town you are in Georgia this morning, this is definitely a weather you don't want to miss. It is not hot and it's not too cold. It's just moderate to where you could just go that near and observe. And as you can see, I like to look around a lot. I don't, I, I pay really attention to what's going on. So I'm moving like I'm just letting gravity do what it's doing to me. And I'm just sort of just looking around and just seeing what really caught my attention. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it's be all based about. So yes. Happy Wednesday this morning if you're going out there. Let me get this thing almost done. And today, try and sit still for 10 minutes. <laughs> Five minutes the most. It's a beautiful day to just kind of have a reflection on self-realization. Happy Wednesday and to my next 18 miles tomorrow. One love. <laughs>